This is one of the hardest things I've ever done, uh, to walk away right now. Breaking right now, former Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross addresses the media about his abrupt resignation, explaining why he decided to step down as the city's top cop. Now we're waiting to hear from Mayor Kenny about that resignation any minute now, and we will bring you that press conference live when it happens. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Janelle Burrell. And I'm Jim Donovan. It was an announcement that has left most people in the city stunned. Philly's top cop suddenly stepping down. Former Police Commissioner Richard Ross spoke to the media this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live at City Hall. The mayor's news conference is about to begin with more on what the former commissioner had to say. Howard. The now former commissioner said this was the hardest thing he's ever had to do. Now he's been with the department now for 30 years and he said that it, that now it was Mayor Kenny who appointed him to that position. However, he's been with the department now, as I mentioned, for now over 30 years. Now his resignation follows a federal civil lawsuit by two female police officers. According to the lawsuit, the women say they informed Commissioner Ross alleging sexual harassment within the department. However, they claim the commissioner failed to act on their complaints. Now we're hearing Commissioner Ross offered his resignation to Mayor Kenny Sunday night, but the mayor did not accept it. Now, Ross talked to the media moments ago. Listen to what he had to say. But I've been privileged to serve alongside some of the finest men and women in law enforcement, many of whom are now friends to me. Uh, so I am uh, obviously lamenting, lamenting uh, the departure simply because it's something I've done for 30 years. But despite what some think, I am leaving of my own volition. I, I love this department too much to allow distractions like this, so we'll move on, and I don't know what else is in store, but we'll move on. Now, it is important to note that Ross is not accused of harassment. However, we are now waiting to hear from Mayor Kenny regarding these allegations and this lawsuit. So we're going to bring that to you as soon as it happens. But for now, live at City Hall, Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Howard. Well